Hey everybody, it's Jen. I'm coming in today to have a little bit of tough love. Um, <laughs> one of the things that my guys are really talking about right now is shifting into the new 5D paradigm. The new um, energies that are available to us are more in align with divine abundance, with divine truth, with really understanding that money is energy and there's all of these amazing, beautiful things that are available to us if we're in divine flow with spirit. Now, that being said, if you're stuck in the old ways of thinking, which is the 3D paradigm where life is hard and everything sucks and it, there's never enough money and everything's going to shit and whatever else is going on, because if you look out in, that, in the outside world, that could totally be make sense, right? That you would be thinking that. But for the last two years, well, even before that, but really seriously, for the last two years, my guides have been talking hardcore about radical responsibility and also they've been saying limitless possibilities and there's unlimited potential and divine abundance is available and all of these other things that are totally opposite of what we're seeing in 3D, right? The thing is you have to choose. Now, I totally understand the idea of not being able to afford it, but here's the thing, that is a BS excuse. And I'm going to tell you why. And I know this is tough love, you guys, and I don't usually like to go this way, but this is what I feel like I need to say today. Um, and, and it's so important to get this because if we're aligning with universal truth, if we're aligning with divine flow, if we're understanding everything that our guides and angels are showing us, then abundance becomes the natural default setting. We were not meant to be in poverty. We were not meant to be in lack. We are not meant to have limitation. That isn't what we're here for. We're here to be in our divine flow, understanding that we're breaking free from what we've known in past generations. Um, and everything happens for a reason, right? So like those of us that, if you guys are in here, you're already into some of the spiritual stuff anyway. So you know we're here for a purpose. You know that we're here to change things. You know that you're here. You are here to change things. You are here to change the narrative. You are here to change generational patterns that have been going on. The lack and limitation is part of that. Never having enough money, the ideas of not having a silver spoon in your mouth, all of these kind of things totally make sense and I totally get it. All of these things that were just calling me to open up to the idea of a possibility that there was something different, the possibility that I could change my life if I wanted to, right? Now here's the key, if you want to. One of the things that I totally understand is feeling like you couldn't afford anything. But what I also learned is that there's two things here. You have to be responsible for yourself. So you have to be responsible for the words you speak. You have to be responsible for the actions you take. Um, and you have to choose to want to change it. So if you're in a place where you can't afford it, I totally get it. it. But here's the thing. There's so many resources here in Embodied Grace community. You can start changing your life today if you choose. You've just got to look in the other videos, look in the challenges, and start questioning yourself about what do you really believe about I can't afford it. Because the truth is, when you're saying you can't afford it, you're saying I don't want to waste the energy to figure out what to do to be able to bring that thing into my life. I don't want to spend the energy to figure out what I've got to change to be able to make more money. I don't want to figure out what I have to change because you know somehow in your soul, you know that it means you're going to have to change the way that you do things, right? You're going to have to change the way that you think. You're going to have to maybe give up some things. What's really interesting is people are always like, well, I don't want to give that up. I don't want to give up that relationship or I don't want to give up um, that job or I don't want to give up whatever it is. But a lot of times you're not giving up anything that's important. You're giving up wasting your time on stuff. You're giving up maybe eating out one night so that you can put 25 bucks back so that you can get the thing that you want. Um, you know, if there's a hundred dollar course and you eat out at least once a week, if you spend 25 bucks a week eating out, just don't eat out for, for two, three weeks, stick that money back. You've got the hundred dollars for the course. It's all about getting in alignment with your values getting in alignment with speaking the truth and understanding when you're speaking limiting things about money and abundance, doing the work that it takes to change those beliefs and then actually starting to open yourself up to the idea that abundance is real, the idea that you can have more money, the idea that you can change your life, to dive so deeper into yourself and really release and acknowledge and bring to light whatever the negative energy is that's holding you back, okay? That being said, I used to laugh and tell people, look, I, you know, it took me eight years to figure this shit out. I can help you in eight weeks. It's true. You don't absolutely need a mentor or a coach, but working with one will expedite 
because they've been there, they've done it, right? So a lot of the things that, the reason that I teach on the things that I do is because I get it and I've been there, okay? I remember what it was like to feel like you couldn't afford it, but I did what it took to change my verbiage, the way I was speaking, right? The, because what we speak creates our reality. Um, I, I started changing the way that I believed. Um, you know, Outwitting the Devil is a really good one from Joyce Meyer. Um, there's a, she has a lot of books and you guys, a lot of these books, when I first started, they were free at the library. It, I wasn't able to spend the money, right? Because I hadn't figured out the money stuff yet. I hadn't figured it out. So you can do all of these things for free, but you have to be willing to do them, right? Again, I will tell you it was hard and I can only imagine how much further I would be if I would have been able to figure it out and get a mentor sooner. But that's why I created this Embodied Grace community. Of course, I have things that I would love for you to sign up and work with me and get there faster. But there's also free resources here in the community group. Um, and one of them is like the 10 day challenge. Like I've, I've referred books that are really good in here. My book is a free download. Like I want to empower you to know that you can change your narrative today. You can change your life today. You can change your money story today. You can change your relationship today. You can change what you expect out of your own life today. And all you have to do is choose it and then start speaking words that align with it. Start really paying attention to your limiting beliefs um, and the negative mindset and the way that you speak about money, the way you speak about life, the way you speak about your health. All when you say, I can't afford it, you need to stop yourself and say, wait a minute, is that really true? Is it that I can't afford it or is it that I choose to spend my money and my time and my energy elsewhere? There's no judgment. If you don't want it, that's fine. Say, you know what, I'm really not into that. I'm not gonna get it right now, but don't say you can't afford it because when you say you can't afford it, that's not really true. Because if you're in divine alignment and you want to get something, something inevitably will happen. If you, the first time I, the first time I paid for a coach, I thought I was gonna puke, not gonna lie. Like I remember, I think it was like two grand and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be sick. Like I literally thought I was gonna be sick because I was spending $2,000, had no idea where it was gonna come from or how I was gonna pay it. And as soon as I made that commitment, I started, I got like four more clients, it totally paid off. Um, it totally paid off the, the money that I spent for coaching. Um, then now, now it's totally different. Now I understand the power of having a mentor and a coach. So when I want to challenge everybody that and any time from now on that you, you want to say, I can't afford it. I want you to stop and think about that because I've just seen somebody that said, Oh, I can't afford that. And then they were like going to dinner at a fancy restaurant. And I was like, okay, no, it's the, not that you can't afford it. It's that you don't really want it. And that's okay, right? Like there's, again, there is no judgment whatsoever, but you've got to reiterate the way that you speak because again, what you speak creates, to fix so, it. Start asking for more. Start understanding that God wants to give you way more than you would ever ask for. But until you start asking, you will never receive it. And then the other side of that is you have to start working on your self-worth because if you don't feel worthy to receive it, this is why people win the lottery and then lose all of it because they have no frame of being able to hold that money. They don't have the energetics behind the self-worth that it takes to hold that money. They don't have the knowledge, the financial knowledge to be able to hold that money. So that's why you see those stories all the time where people win ridiculous amounts of money in the lottery and then they lose it because they're not in vibrational alignment to having that. Okay, so there's all of these things going on behind the scenes, but I'm, I'm challenging everyone to start really paying attention to the way you speak about money, the way you believe about abundance, being open to manifestation, because sometimes it comes out of just a random way. Like I it's not even always about the money, right? But it's just the money is, seems to be the thing that people get so hung up on. Um, I've personally never really worried about manifesting money as much as experience. Like I wanted to experience freedom. If you guys have seen my book, it was embodied grace was all about freedom. It's freedom from the negativity, freedom from not feeling good, freedom from never having enough money, freedom from, it was all of this freedom, right? Freedom and being able to really align with what I wanted. You've got to be able to be open to things coming to you that are unrealistic. Like I think I just posted that a couple days ago, like 5D energy is so much more energetics and desire and value and, and really aligning that way instead of looking at the dollar 
like it's all about the vibrational frequency of being a match to what you want to create in your life. So.